morning. All right. So today what we're going to do is that we are going to work on creating this section here um, and then these gray areas and then this blue space. And I think that's it for to this section. So just kind of adding in these pieces and then we're going to kind of group all of the chest pieces together and then we'll go from there all right so let's get moving on this stuff um so the first thing we're going to do is to make a new layer by hitting the plus we're going to empty just like we always do and let's make this a little bigger all right uh, we'll start with doing this blue section here uh, so we're going to go to our shape Make sure we get the, we're going to do the rounded rectangle again. Uh, we want to make sure we have the right color. So remember the bottom one is the fill color and the top one's the stroke. So we're going to go to the bottom and we're actually going to click. See, so once we get outside the color picker, we can click on the specific color we want. Hit OK. Cool. So it's a long rectangle. Oh, we want to make sure our stroke is at zero. Fill those on. So we're going to fill in the space with a long rec blue rectangle. All right. Now, but that did not. That'll work for now. Um, all right. And then we're going to make another blue rectangle down here. More of like a square. And then you see over here we have two gray rectangles. So we can actually just, so we're going to click on the bottom one, go up to R2D2's head to get that gray, hit OK. And then we're going to put a rectangle shape under here. We're going to actually make it a little bit bigger than what they have. Uh, no, we'll keep it right around there. And then we'll make a longer one to fill in this space. Okay. So all of those are actually on the same spot, but that's okay. That's not a problem. Um, so now we're going to start putting information on top of, on top of this blue one. So we're going to hit plus, empty, and we are going to make a couple of those circle-y type shapes, so, which is actually a rounded rectangle. Um, on this one, we're actually going to change our radius, so that's the corners. We're going to bring it up to, let's try 20 and see what happens. Um, and if we look at it, it's like a darker gray and then it actually has a lighter gray stroke. And so what we'll do is actually take this bottom one um, and we'll take, use this darker gray, hit OK, and we'll do our stroke as, they're a little bit thicker, so we'll do like a stroke of 10. And we're going to make two of those shapes inside of there. Let's see how we did. Well, that's not too bad. Put one there. And then another one right below that. So I'm clicking and dragging. Done. OK. So now we're going to look at them. And it looks like there's a black rectangle inside of each one of those. So what we'll do is click on the bottom color turn that to black hit ok and if you want to make to make it a little easier you can actually zoom in a little bit if you want to so so we can click on the magnifying glass and we'll click on that specific area okay so let's go back to our shape so our shape and we're going to change our radius to zero because we want these to be oh yeah that's fine we're actually going to switch to a rectangle instead all right so then we're going to do those 
So it's a hard edge rectangle inside of there. So we'll do that, bring that down. Do it again on the lower one. Click and drag to make those happen. Okay. Then what we'll do is we'll make these rectangles on top of those. Okay, so now we're going to make rectangles going across. Um, so let's do this. So we'll, instead of, uh, so what we'll do is we'll actually hit the switch colors. So now the black's on top and the gray is on the bottom. You can see it's a lighter gray. And we are going to change our stroke to, let's do a five, because I believe that's what these are. And so if we count, this is going to be one, two, three, and these go all the way across. So we'll do one. And I'm going to use my little arrow as like a spacer, or my like cross. Two. And I'm going to try to make them as equal as possible. Three, right? So now we have three. So that looks kind of similar. And this one has one, two, three, four, five. And you notice they only go across just the black part. So we're going to, if I hold on space bar, it'll let me kind of click and drag up. So if I hold on space bar, you see it turns into a hand. So I can kind of move, hold down spacebar and drag around the screen. So let me go up and down a little bit. So let's count them again because I lost track. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So we want to try to get enough space for five of these things. Um, so I'll actually start in the middle. And so let me go kind of small. One. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so now we have five of those. All right. So then the next thing we're going to do is start working on this here. So if we notice it is the darker gray with the light outline. So we already, I already had it set up, so dark gray with the lighter gray outline. And then, so I need to, if I look up top, I can see my stroke is still at 10. So I need to bring that down because it need, I don't want it to be too big. So let's bring that back down to five. Okay, and then someone in like, is, oh, look at that. All right, so I'm gonna bring my stroke to five. I'm gonna shape, and like I said, I don't want them to be too big. So I'm going to go click, drag, and then add a new layer, empty, click, drag. Okay, and I want it to be, kind of make a plus sign. All right, so I'm going to make another layer, plus, empty, and this time I'm going to make a circle. And I want my circle to just be inside of that. So let's see if we can make that happen. If I hold on shift, I can make like a perfect circle. That's not too bad. All right. So I'm going to go up. I kind of want to center it. All right. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. So I'm going to enter. Um, and then we're going to make another layer. So I hit plus, empty. And this time we're going to make another circle, um, but instead of, so up top, well, we just don't want to fill for this one. So we're going to actually hit, hit minus fill, and then I'm going to make another circle, and I'm going to make my circle go around this. So even if it's an oval, it's not that, it's fine. So that doesn't look too, that looks pretty good, like right around there. And then I'm going to drag it into place. And I might change the size just a little bit. Psst. 
And then the next thing I need to do is make the little circle that goes inside of there. And it looks like it actually has a blue outline on that one. So we're going to actually hit switch. So light on the inside and then the stroke is going to be that blue, which I already have. Hit OK. And go to my shapes. I need to turn my fill back on. And I'm going to bring my strokes like to like two. So really skinny. I'm going to make a little circle inside of that. Man. It's funny because it is a... So I didn't like my where I put my little circle. So I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to hit plus. I'm actually just going to do it on a separate layer. That way I can move it around a little bit better. So I'm going to zoom in. And it's not going to be a perfect circle because that's just how these shapes work, unfortunately. So I'm going to click, drag. It's almost like a hexagon, huh? That, that works. Now I can kind of click it into where I want it to be. Cool. So you can see now we have a shape that's similar-ish to that there. And all right. Um, let's see. So now we need to put these things in, and we'll try to do those relatively quick. So I'm gonna go. Uh, I need a black rectangles. So I'm gonna go my bottom color, black. Hit OK. I'm gonna make a new layer for this too. So hit plus. Empty, and then go to Shapes, Rectangle, and I do not want a stroke for this, so I'm going to bring that down to zero, and I'm needed one, two, three, four, five, five skinny rectangles. One, two, three, four. Five. That works. And then I'm going to make a gray one that goes here. So I'm going to switch to gray. Hit OK. I'm going to do a rectangle here. And then off of that one, I'm going to make one go this way. So click and drag. And then on this one, what I'm going to do is we'll just turn them and use rectangles instead of the triangle bit. So we're going to go, we'll just do this all on the same, same layer, which is okay. So I'm going to cl click, drag, and then go on to the edge of this one, click, drag to make a longer one. And then this one will be a skinny one. So click, drag. Okay, and so I guess we're just going to do these spaces here and we'll kind of finish, do this one in the next video and then we'll finish up the body by making this lower section and then we'll smash it all together so it can be one piece. Okay, there we go. So we did this section here today and then these pieces. So we're getting all the little details in there. Um, and then, yeah, so the next video we'll do this part and this part. So it might be a little bit shorter of a video, and then we'll go from there.